Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts, mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Area 51. Contact Report 510. Many of the great Nazis fled to Argentina at the end of the Second World War, and they also took secret plans of flying discs with them. Then it happened, as happened at Area 51, that suddenly many different unknown flying objects were sighted over the country, called UFOs. In Argentina, it was the German Nazi engineers and Nazi greats who had fled, and at Area 51 it was the German Nazi engineers who had been captured by the USA and enlisted to build flying discs and rockets, etc., for which these Nazis had their past simply erased and were granted American citizenship. The question? There are still various reports of UFOs in areas of Mexico and Argentina and elsewhere in South America, as well as in the USA. What is to be thought of? Do old Nazi engineers still work in Argentina? And are strange flying apparatus still being worked on in Area 51? which are then observed as UFOs? For a number of years now, we have not made any special efforts to deal with these things, because they are no longer of any importance to us, so we only deal with them sporadically. Our findings, however, are that there is always something to be found in relation to so-called UFO observations. It is true that with regard to such observations, which are made from time to time all over the world, today not as many unknown objects are observed as in the past from Area 51 and from Argentina, etc., and also not with regard to our and our allies' flying apparatus, but they still appear sporadically. The main phase of alien terrestrial missile development is over, for its main period was during the Second World War and then during the so-called Cold War. Contact Report 511. I also watched the TV program myself, which was supposed to prove with old film footage of disc and bell shaped and other futuristic flying apparatus and balloons of the USA, especially from Area 51, that there was no extraterrestrial but a secret futuristic American flying apparatus or balloon that crashed in Roswell. What I can say is that the black and white film sequences you mentioned really do correspond to original footage and show secret U.S. flying apparatus that was further developed according to Nazi plans. This also involved Nazi engineers who were acquitted of their Nazi past in the USA and became American citizens. These, like the Nazi engineers who had fled to South America, also continued to work on the development of disc, bell, and balloon-shaped flying apparatus, which were airworthy and with which extensive test flights were carried out. This could be kept secret until today, apart from the fact that the flying apparatuses were seen by many people from the population who classified the whole thing as extraterrestrial flying apparatuses, respectively as UFOs. However, the further development of such secret flying apparatus has not been discontinued, neither in the United States nor in various places in South America, nor in other countries. Consequently, test flights are still being carried out with such apparatus today, not only over the production areas, but also in the airspace around the planet. And as it must be, these flying apparatuses are judged by observers around the world to be extraterrestrial UFOs, as has always been the case. This is not least because the U.S. Secret Services and the U.S. Air Force, as well as those in charge of Area 51, have been secretly fueling UFO mania among the population through all kinds of machinations in order to conceal the truth of the experimental flying apparatus. Contact Report 519 But what if unknown flying objects are observed? If they are Earth foreigners' flying apparatuses, then they can only be those of us Plearen or of our Federated Ones. 
Otherwise, they are exclusively earthly unknown flying apparatuses, like secret aircraft of futuristic design, etc., as they are constructed in secret aircraft construction factories, mainly in Area 51 in the USA, but also in South America, Russia, China, and Canada. Contact Report 522 and as far as the debris from the crash of the extraterrestrial flying apparatus near Roswell is concerned, it is to be said that all accessible debris was collected by members of the U.S. Air Force and brought to Patterson and then to Area 51. Despite thorough examination of all the debris, the technicians were not able to make much use of it because only a few things were understood and could be put to little use. Nevertheless, it is a fact that top-secret flying apparatus is being created and tested in Area 51, not only in the area of that base, but also in other areas and even worldwide. But this is also true of other states that work on and test secret flying apparatus, which are then referred to by uninitiated populations as UFOs and even as extraterrestrial flying objects. And it is precisely this fact that is used by all the secret bases where futuristic flying apparatuses are built, Area 51 in particular, to keep their secret products relating to all kinds of flying objects and aircraft from becoming public knowledge. The secret services involved have been stirring up the UFO hype for many decades and are doing everything they can to make people observing such flying apparatus believe that they are extraterrestrial flying objects, which are then generally called UFOs. This is also a reason for the paradox that, Especially in the USA, those in charge of military and Air Force intelligence and other intelligence agencies involved in the case are denying that an extraterrestrial flying apparatus has crashed, as happened in Roswell. Of course, this also vehemently denies the secret research and machinations that are being carried out in Area 51, as well as the constructions of secret flying apparatus made there. And this did not only happen during the Cold War period, but it also applies equally to the present day. Thus, the belief of the population in the multiple existence of extraterrestrial UFOs continues to be fueled. The fact is, as we informed you decades ago in silence, that the USA knew how to get hold of Soviet MiG fighters the technology of which the aircraft designers at Area 51 had acquired and made great use of, but also how they could make use of certain small items from the crashed Roswell flying object, which in reality was of very little importance. What is happening today in Area 51 is as secret as it has always been, and what is being created there refers to a technology that is still so futuristic for the Earth's population today that when the flying apparatus becomes public knowledge, it will in turn be classified as extraterrestrial technology, although it is purely of Earth humans' achievements. Contact Report 672 20th Century Area 51 the institution deals with or communicates with extraterrestrial life forms. False. Contact report 759. Ask it also told me that she had entrusted Wendell Stevens with the date and location of an upcoming secret test flight concerning a secret new type of fighter aircraft called F-117A which would take place in the month of June 1981 in an area called Groom Lake. This tempted him, with their help, to enter the area and remain hidden, and then, when the test flight was carried out, to take a large number of photographs at the risk of his life. If he had been noticed by the many guards who secured the whole area, then, as Asket said, he would have been shot immediately without a call.